Hello and welcome to our overview on Card Exchange Visitor. Here we have the main Card Exchange Visitor window. This is the default window that shows when you load Card Exchange Visitor. In the bottom left, you can see we have three main views Visitors, Events, and Assist. At the top, we have our ribbon interface. On the left of the screen, we have our list of visitors, with status to show whether they're checked in or checked out. Underneath that, we have our card preview. And in the middle of the screen, we have our main visitor details section showing the photo and all the fields. On the right, we have a quick actions pane. And at the bottom, we have buttons to show expired badges and to generate an evacuation report. Next, we have our events view. Again, we at the top, we have our ribbon interface where we can create new events and see the events for the current day. On the left, we have a list of all of our events, and on the right hand side, we have all the details for the selected event, including the invitees. We then have the assist view, we have the ribbon interface at the top. On the left hand side of the screen, we have a list of all the news items, and then on the right of the screen, we have the actual content of the selected news item. We're now going to take a quick look at the ribbon on the visitors view. We have options to create new visitors and to create new events. We can change the filter to show all visitors, just checked in visitors, or just visitors for pre registered events. And we have actions to check in, check out, add to blacklist, or to print the badge. Under the data tab, we have some search options so we can easily find people from the list of names. And we can click on Edit Visitor to modify the details or photo for the selected record. When you're editing the data for the selected record, you can just type in the boxes, capture the photo, then click on save, or you can click on scan document to capture the data from an ID scanner. Under the photos tab, we have options to take photo, to import photo. We can also edit the photo, crop to face, copy and paste, and a few other basic options. Under the signatures tab, we have the same options as we do for the photos. Under the configuration tab, we have some advanced options where we can set things like the default print behavior and the default host used for events. We can also change some column attributes. We can change the lookup columns used in the visitors list and also the column details shown under the visitor details section. We can enable the logins feature and then set permissions based on the individual users. And we have the card designer to create the actual visitor badge. The card designer itself is the same as actually used in our card exchange producer product. Under the view tab, we can choose the default language as well as restore the default view. And we can also change the layout by hiding any of the panes that we don't want to see. Under the assist tab, we have links to our website for the online help manual, to our end user forum, to video tutorials such as this one. You can also activate and register the software directly from here, and we can compare editions on our website. Thank you for watching. You can find other videos on our website, cardexchangesolutions.com.